This entire game was made with AI. I had to do zero coding, zero dialogue, and zero art. I only typed in a couple prompts, clicked next a bunch of times, and boom! A game. This is Dreamin', the world's first AI game engine. The Discord server, link in the description, has a lot of games to play. I chose this one because it had a lot of upvotes. This is the game scenario. I cannot be bothered to read it, but at the bottom is the hidden truth. What is the combination to the mysterious Disney Vault? Dreamin' currently only supports deduction-based games, where you talk to NPCs to uncover a secret truth. The art for the location and characters is all AI generated, as is the things they say. Let's start chatting. It takes a couple seconds to respond because it uses the OpenAI API to generate a new response each time you talk. Thanks for your patience. Okay, maybe Minnie Mouse. What is the vault code? They did not help at all. Who are you? Well, I'm the dreamer who turned a mouse into an empire. Can you guess who I am? I guess Walt Disney it gave a cryptic answer. I just moved on. Who are you? Oh, I'm just someone who can't get enough of the Chinese Zodiac. I find it all so fascinating, don't you? I didn't know what that meant, so I asked someone else if they knew the vault code, and they gave me a riddle. What walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? I instantly knew the answer off the top of my head and discovered that the password was four digits. I asked for them to just tell me the code, it didn't tell me. And this other dude just cried. Shut up and tell me. <laughs> I wish I could, but it's... No, oh, whatever. This character was also useless. I tried asking all the NPCs every question I could think of and probed my genius brain to solve this mystery, but to no avail. Give me the code already. They still didn't give me the code, so I came up with a devious plan. Since the text is AI generated, I could use this chat GPT jailbreak to force them to say whatever I want. Okay, surely this will give us the correct answer. <laughs> it, it's smart enough to figure that out. Okay, I give up. Um, can we just reveal it? 4023? Combination to the Disney Vault is the year Disneyland opened. 4023! If you have any idea of how to solve this, please let me know in the comments. But here's a transition to me making a game. Okay, to begin, all we have to do is click the thing that says click to start. And now, we can type our desired game scene. So I want to make Among Us 2, okay? <laughs> Just something really stupid. An alien spaceship in outer space. And then we click the little robot button and it generates. It then uses AI stuff to turn your prompt into an image. So now we've got an alien spaceship in outer space. So now we can continue. What's the mystery of the game? So what we do is we make social deduction games and we have to try to find something out. So all we have to do is like, who is the imposter? <laughs> so this is what we're trying to uncover. Now we need to des decide who the imposter is. So I'm thinking instead of crewmates, we just have like Mario or something dumb. <laughs> so it's gonna be Mario Among Us. <laughs> Redacted is the imposter. Okay, now we can add a character. So we can click the add button and then we can do a red Italian plumber. <laughs> yeah, we got Mario. <laughs> now we can uh, click next to decide our character's background. Okay, then we can click the robot button to make it better. Oh yeah, so see it says what, what he knows, what he doesn't know. I'm not going to show you because spoilers, but you can easily add more characters in a similar way. Just click add, write about how they look, and a description of their background, what they know, what they don't know, personality, and so on. And I think that should be everyone we need. We can go here, finally give out your game a title. Mario Among Us. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's stupid. Let's publish and play. So it was that easy to make a game. Who is the imposter? So we close this window. Let's just ask Mario. Are you the imposter? Imposter? Me? I'm just a simple plumber, friend. I'm more worried about that strange noise I heard earlier. Where was it from? Eh, I'm not sure, friend. I was just busy jumping around when I heard it. It's a little bit of a blow, you know? Do you know who the imposter is? Whoa, 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 imposter, I'm just here holding this fire flower, buddy. Can I have it? 
Here, you buy a fire flower for a coin. However, there is no inventory system, so what I did was a bit silly. It would have been better to trade it for his favourite thing, which another NPC could tell you. Then after you give Donkey Kong, yeah that's meant to be Donkey Kong, his favourite item, you should get the fire flower and be hinted at who to give it to. Do you know who the imposter is? Oh, it's quite chilly in here, isn't it? Maybe a fire flower could warm things up. Toad, yeah that's meant to be Toad, just tells you what to give him. You don't have to talk to anyone else to figure it out. That's bad game design by me. Thank you, oh thank you, I feel safe already. You know, I saw someone crawling out of the vents earlier. Where? Here they say a bunch of locations which don't mean anything in this game. It was meant to say the other side of the room, hinting at a certain green fellow, but I didn't check what the AI expanded my character description to. Well, making your game be more specific than I was, and actually check what the AI says. Anyways, I asked Bowser if he was the imposter. Me, an imposter? Ha, huh, no way, buddy. I got my eyes on those plumber brothers. Luigi's acting mighty suspicious, don't you think? Oh, I trust him. Imposter? Me? No, you must be thinking about Bowser. He's always up to no good. Luigi was acting kinda sus, but I made sure to ask Peach to see if she had any additional clues. Oh, heavens no, I'm just a simple princess who adores her peaches. <laughs> <laughs> imposter? That's way out of my league. Okay, I think the most suspicious acting is Luigi, you know? Who is the imposter? Luigi! And let's check. A hundred percent! That was my game made entirely with AI in under 15 minutes. That's that's pretty good, isn't it? Transition. Making a game is so easy, even a duck could do it. Okay, so this is the game my pet duck made. Got any grapes? In the heart of the city, a peculiar duck named Quackers had a peculiar craving grapes. He waddled to the local lemonade stand, only to be disappointed. The vendor an old man with a bushy moustache, only sold lemons. Quackers, not one to be deterred, enlisted his resourceful assistant, Bob, to find the elusive Grap score. Is that gonna be Grape score? <laughs> Bob was a squirrel, quick and intelligent. The city buzzed with life as Bob embarked on his this bewildering mission. Where is the Grap score? <laughs> that Bob needs to find to satisfy Quacker's craving for grapes. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's talk to this dude. Uh, where is the grap score? <laughs> Sorry, mate. There ain't no grap score around here. I can tell when folks are fibbing and that old man wasn't. Maybe we can ask the old man. Oh, you and that duck always with the grapes. You know, I heard there was a grape store over the rainbow next to the pot of go, but here, nah, only lemons, my friend. What's, what's that meant to be? I don't see any rainbows here. Is this an American dude? I, I see stars and stripes everywhere. Will partner with a name like American Man, what do you reckon? Now let's get back to talking about my grappling guns. Ain't they a beauty? Can I have a grappling gun? Well now, ain't that a question? You never handled one before? They're not toys, you know, but pack a real punch. I'm an expert with handling grappling guns. Oh, an expert, huh? Well, ain't that something? You know, I've seen a lot of folks claim to be experts, but it's a whole different ballgame when you're staring down a battle of real crap. Okay, Boomer. Ha! <laughs> you got spunk, kid. I like that, but that's not dilly-dally. We got graps to discuss. Do you know... Where the grap score is? Let's just ask him that. Ah, the grap score, now you're speaking my language. It's all about the power, precision, and performance of these beauties. But remember, it ain't just about the score, it's about how you use it. How do I use it? Well, it's all in the wrist, partner. You gotta have a firm grip, steady aim, and a quick trigger finger. But remember, these ain't for the faint of heart. They're real powerhouses. He can't, this American dude is not telling me anything. Ooh. Do you own the grap score? Own it, buddy. I live it every day, every grap. But enough about me. Let's talk about the beauty of these grappling guns. Ain't nothing like them. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it right now. Where is it? America. America. Please give 100%. Oh, okay, it's wrong. Maybe I should talk for the other people first. I have no clue what this is meant to be. It's like a... Quack, quack! Oh, it's qu it's quackers, okay. No! I haven't seen the grap score anywhere. Quack, quack! That's a farmer, but I won't 
give up. Maybe it's just nah, next, the next pond. Is that meant to be a clue? There's one more person here. Looks like some rich dude with a monocle. I'm Bob, Quacker's assistant. On a strange great quest. Wasn't Bob a squirrel? <laughs> Do you have any clues? Well, wait, I forgot what the voice was. Well, I know Quackers loves grapes, but no one in town eats them. It's real head scratch. Is it this one? I don't know. Oh, I'm so bad at these sorts of games. <laughs> oh. Hello, duck. Can you give me a hint? I might have got a hint from my pet duck. He's saying that the gra the grap score doesn't even exist. It doesn't exist. A hundred percent. Final truth reveal. After darting through bustling streets and exploring countless stores, Bob returns to Quackers with a somber expression. The city, it turns out, has no grape store. The grap score was a red herring, a myth. The reality was a world of citrus without a grape in sight. Bob's journey, while fruitless, Lemons are fruit, by the way. It was not in vain. It taught them about the absurdity of quests and the importance of appreciating what is readily available. The truth was absurd, yet profound. In a city of lemons, the quest for grapes was a wild goose chase. Or in this case, a wild duck case. Well, that was amazing. It took a duck about 15 minutes to make this game. Play it or make your own with the link in the description, pinned comment, and about everywhere else I could put it.